Okay, uh, you know that work and energy uh, can be um, transferred. Uh, work has the same units of energy. Let's talk about work right now uh, and different types of work uh, and the di different ways to calculate different types of work done by force, electrical work, shaft work, spring work, things like that. All right, so uh, my kind of uh, high school definition of work is force times distance. Um, it's a force, you know, pushing something a distance that can add energy to a system. I can transfer energy to a box by pushing it Right, and then it gives that box some, you know, maybe kinetic energy. Uh, so uh, the work force times distance, uh, but that force times distance it, that this is only true if this is a constant force, and if the distance is in the same direction, is in the same di blah, direction as the force. Um, but you know that that's a, a good definition. Work is force times distance. Uh, but if we're if we're talking about power, which the rest of these will be talking about power, uh, then we need to divide that by time. And you know, distance divided by time. If we take the distance divided by time, uh, that would be a velocity. So uh, another equation for work done by a constant force is the power. Uh, by a constant force is force times velocity. So make a note that this is velocity, um, not volume. All right, so if we've got a constant force, then its power is force times velocity. If we have electrical work, uh, meaning if we have a voltage and a current, uh, then it's just voltage times current. This, this V is voltage. This I is current. Um, that volts times amp uh, would give us watts. Um, the units work out easily. It's just volt times uh, current right there. Uh, shaft work. If we have some shaft that is rotating, that is rotating and it has some torque, we won't get too deep into this, but if we have something that's giving it a torque. A torque is a moment. It's a, you know, a twisting force. Uh, then the shaft work, the power by shaft, is 2 pi n dot t. Let's box that in, put it on our formula sheet, where t is the torque, and n is the number of revolutions, number of revolutions per unit time. N dot is the number of revolutions per unit time. Don't get too uh, bogged down into that one, uh, but if, if we've got some twisting shaft that has a torque, then its power, its energy due to work, is 2 pi N dot times torque. Uh, and then spring work is 1 half K, the change in X squared, where K is the spring constant, K is the spring constant, and X is not the length of the spring, but X is the amount of stretch or compression of the spring. X is the amount of stretch or compression of the spring. And be, be, be sure to square, um, square that. X squared final minus x squared initial. All right, so let's look back. Those on we're going to put on a formula sheet are different types of work that we could calculate um, throughout our problems.